Well, hello, friends, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Renee, and today is a cook with me day. We are going to make homestead chicken pot pie in my cast iron pan. So, this is wonderful. It's an absolute delicious pie, but this is not something that you can whip together for a quick, busy, you know, weeknight meal. This takes a little time, because I'm also going to show you how I make my pastry for it, too. Or you could use biscuits, or you could use puff pastry, or you could use the ready-made store-bought crust. But I'm doing this the old-fashioned way, everything homemade. Now, I've got my home canned chicken to go in it. I've got my um, vegetables that are from my garden. These are frozen. Um, I've got mushrooms that were frozen. Those aren't from my garden or anything, but... And then I'm also going to show you, I'm going to put a little bit of my dehydrated mixed veggies in there. So, and I got fresh onion. So with that, I've got a mixture, a variety of stuff that's going to go in here. And it's going to be delicious. So the first thing I want to do is back this camera up so that you can see what's going on. And when I backed it up, I shut it off. So my pan right here, I'm going to turn this probably on medium, okay? There's a pretty, pretty nice glare coming off my stove. Oh yeah, and that's way too dark, so we got to have that. I'm going to put just a little bit of olive oil in here. I'm going to chop up my onion while I'm waiting for that pan to get warm. I don't need it screaming hot, I just want it hot because you know hot pan and then your food won't stick to it hot pan hot oil and your food won't stick so that's what we're gonna do okay that goes in my compost bucket so I'm gonna slice my onions fairly thin and I just want them chunked. I don't want big slices in here. That's about all I'm going to do with that. Just thin, nice and thin. Here it sizzle. There we go. That's what you want. In the pan that goes. I don't make this too often, but I was, you know, it's just a perfect day for a nice comfort pot pie. Okay, so because I turned it down a little bit because cast iron gets hot really quick and it holds its heat. So I don't want my stuff burnt. I am going to give just a light seasoning to my onions. A little splash of salt. And we're also going to do, and I've got some already ground up. Um, garlic. And I'm going to put about a good teaspoon of that in there. Okay? You can use fresh. I'm out of fresh because I used all my fresh for my tomatoes. So, I broke into my pantry stock and got this garlic. Okay, so those are doing good. Now is what we're going to do is I'm going to put, I'm probably not going to put all these mushrooms in here because they're good chunks of mushrooms. I'm probably going to do half. Okay, I'll put the other half back in the freezer. And I'm going to do half of these veggies. I'll put these away. And then we'll get a lid for that. Actually, I want to put just a little more pepper on there. And my pepper thing... My pepper grinder is too tight. There we go. 
All right. So that works out nicely. Now certainly you could spice this up a little more, but I'm using the rotisserie chicken, so it's got a lot of seasoning already in it. And my rotisserie chicken, that's, isn't that beautiful looking in a jar? That's the rotisserie chicken I got from my friend Kim. Thank you, Kim. I love this stuff. And it's just, it's divine. I'm telling you. Delicious. Okay, I'm putting my stuff away. So I'm going to get these right here. I'll show you. So I'm going to get this all sauteed up. And I'm just going to let that go for a little bit. Because that's going to, going to create some juice. And then I'm going to make some, I'm going to thicken this up. Get the chicken in here and thicken everything up. And this will be lovely. So this is going to just simmer here. Oh, I don't know, for about five minutes or so. And with your dehydrated veggies, now if you want, see these, how nice these are? This is just dehydrated mixed veggies. And if you want, you could um, put them and pour some hot boiling water over them and just let them sit for about, you know, 20 minutes or so until they rehydrate. Sometimes it takes 30 minutes, just depends. Um, but not me, because I don't want my, I thought somebody was here. I don't want my chicken pot pie runny, so I'm gonna add these dry, and then they will soak up any excess water as they hydrate, and it'll make your pie beautiful. So that's all I'm gonna do. And this way, too, those of you who have been wanting to see how these work, you know, how you use dehydrated foods, this will give you a good idea. You know, I've got, um, I love iced tea. And I, though I drink my coffee, I always use my pour-over coffee pot. I um, make my iced tea in my bun. <laughs> it works fantastic. I figured, wow, that's simmering away, I'll make my tea because my pot is empty. And this will be good. And this is decaf. I can't drink regular coffee. I love the stuff, but I can't. I can't do it. I haven't, I haven't been able to drink regular coffee since I was about 25. I do that. I put 12 tea bags in there and I run three pots of coffee through and then it's good to go. Okay friends, this is doing really good. Most of the water's out of it. So, oh that's going to be just delicious. Absolutely. You know what? I think I'm going to put the rest of my veggies in there because that really doesn't seem like a whole lot. That cooked down quite a bit. And I want this to be a nice beefy pot. So we're going to put the rest of those veggies in there. And this is what it's all about. You see it in real life. Okay, there's that. And there's the rest of the mushrooms, so we're just going to let that go. We're going to let that continue to simmer. Leave that alone, and I'll be back. I really like how fast this coffee pot goes. All right. Okay, friends. This is simmering down pretty good. And there's a lot of liquid in here, so you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to show you. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put about, let's see, probably a good quarter cup of veggies in here because they'll, they'll, they'll um, expand to about, about double. So, and we don't want to waste any. Those are gorgeous, gorgeous. So I'm going to slide this over here out of your way. And I'm just going to put those on this side. 
mix them around in there so they get some some of that juice on them and those will be rehydrating the entire time it's cooking so that'll be good all right we're gonna leave that just like that I'm gonna let that cook for a little bit I'm gonna get the stuff ready to show you how I make my pastry dough and I'll be back okay friends this is really easy to put together your pie crust now I'm only gonna use a top crust so I took my recipe and I halved it so first thing first now if you want this recipe for a two you know two part pie crust just double it I'm gonna do one cup and about an eighth of flour okay and to that I have got a stick of butter Now all I'm going to do with this is I'm just going to cut it in here. I'm just going to hold this and let's see. Yep. And I'm just going to chunk this into here. And you want to do this quickly because you want this to be very, very cold. Even if your butter is frozen, that's even better. So, with the heat from your hands tends to melt it rather quick. Okay, so we got that. All right, now we're going to put, let's see, a half a teaspoon of salt in here. Okay. Put this on, and we're just going to pulse this. You want it to look like cornmeal. Looks pretty good. Let's see, I'll show you. See how that's what you're looking for. Ground up to that consistency. That's nice. Okay. So now we're going to put this back on. And I'm going to add about four tablespoons of water to this. And I've got ice cold water. Okay, now I'm just going to pulse this. And then I'm just going to let it mix. See how it's starting to come together there? See how that's doing? Check that out. That is nice. See that? I'm going to mix that just a little bit more because I want it to come together. That's in like a ball now. So we are good. I'm going to move this. Unplug your machine. Always unplug your machine. Now we're going to take this out. I'm going to put it right on my counter here. This is going to be beautiful. And this is an all butter crust. I didn't want any lard or shortening in here. I wanted all butter. See that? So I'm just going to roll this into a disc. And I'm going to put this in the fridge so that it... Let me show you here. So that it hardens up again. And then when I'm ready for this... I'll just be able to, you know, to roll it out. Okay, I've got my pan here. I've got it heated up. And we're going to make a little bit of gravy for our pot pie. I'm going to get this butter melted, and then I'm going to add a little bit of flour. It's equal parts. When you're making gravy, it's equal parts of flour and water. So, okay. And I got that there. 
I'm going to sprinkle this flour in here because you want to cook that flour taste out. So you want this to be, I want this a nice tan color. See how that's doing? That's a pretty color. Cook it for a minute or so and it'll cook that flour taste out and it'll be delicious. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my chicken. And I'm going to dump my chicken in there. Beautiful. Look at that. Now, you know I'm going to need more liquid than that. So I'm also going to put just about a cup more of chicken broth. I'm definitely going to want to season this up a little more. Even though it's the rotisserie, I don't need to add anything else except a little salt and pepper. I'm going to make sure I don't put too much salt in there. My salt tends to come out quite fast. Okay. So we're going to turn this up because we want this to make a real nice, thick gravy. Okay, so I'm going to mix this into my veggies. Turn this up just a little bit more. I'm going to mix this meat and gravy in with my veggies. Oh, that looks beautiful. Mix that all up. This would be delicious just like this over some noodles or rice. But I like it in pot pie. Look at that. Beautiful. See how that is? It's nice and thick. So it'll even get a little bit thicker in the oven. It won't be runny. No, nobody likes a runny pot pie. So make sure you thicken that up a little. All right. Now I can turn that off. And I'm just going to let this sit on the back of my stove. And we're going to roll out the pie shell. Okay, so here we go. Let me sprinkle a little bit of flour down on here. Open this up. Put a little flour on top. Now you don't want too much, but just a little. And we're just going to start rolling this out. We're going to turn it as we roll it. This really is a nice pie dough. See how nice it is? Okay, it's almost big enough right now. But I want to pinch these edges together. This is going to be somewhat of a rustic pie. So I'm going to put that back right on there. We're going to kind of lift this up with this and we're going to lay it right over our pie okay and we're just going to start pinching I'll show you we're just going to start pinching this pie crust up just two fingers
you can peel some from another part if you get a little short but you got to do this quickly because it it gets warm really fast laying on that hot filling okay All right. Now this is going to be just a rustic pie. Nothing fancy. But it's going to be absolutely delicious. So now we're going to take, and we're going to cut a couple little slits in here so that it allows steam to escape. And this is going to go into a 350 degree oven for about 20 minutes just until that crust is nice and brown and you know the insides bubbly so about 20 minutes or so okay friends this is done and that's absolutely beautiful just look at that I'm not going to cut into that yet. Gorgeous. I'm not going to cut into that, but when I do, you will see it. Look, it's still bubbling. Beautiful. All right. Okay, friends. This has sat for a few minutes. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cut into this. This might be a little bit messy, but it will be good. Look at all that. Now it's not runny at all. It's got some beautiful gravy in there. Okay, friends, take a look at that. That looks delicious. This is a perfect homestead chicken pot pie, basically from my pantry supply. So there you have it, friends. Give this recipe a try. Thanks for watching.